Well, it is time for Wellness Wednesday, and as we approach summer, what better time to talk about the tummy tuck? Yeah, that's right. News Channel 9's Linda Ong uh, has this story today. If you're looking to get a tummy tuck, Dr. Sadri Sozer of El Paso Cosmetic Surgery says it all begins with a consultation. I basically look at what is bothering them, and also I try to understand their expectations, and and I want to see if their expectations is achievable or not. From mini to standard to extended tummy tucks, Dr. Sozer says the fitting procedure for a candidate depends on the body itself. Number one, is there stretch marks? Is there a deformity of the belly button? Is there loose skin? And where the loose skin is located. Once that right tummy tuck is found, a check of the heart and blood is next. When those are a go, a patient is ready for surgery. Dr. Sozier says 95% of his patients go under general anesthesia. We start the patient on their tummy. First, we liposuction the waistline and shape it. If we then extend the tummy tuck, we start removing the skin from that position. Then we turn the patient on their back. We liposuction the abdomen, the pubic area, then we place the incision. Nips and tucks later, the procedure ends with the belly button. You suture it in such a nice way, it looks brand new and nice. There is no deformity to it. Dr. Sozer says the pain that follows is comparable to that of a C-section. After two weeks of recovery, he says the only sign of the surgery will be a scar. At the end of the day, it will become only a skinny, tiny line right under the bikini, under the underwear, and in time it fades away. We want to thank you for keeping it here on News Channel 9 for this special edition of our newscast. If tummy tucks aren't your thing, we have plenty of artwork <laughs> to show you and talk about. Yeah, still to come, a local organization that helps people with mental disabilities is celebrating a big milestone. More on that after the break.